Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, August 21st, 2010. This week, Shape Up number 6, Using Type to Change Shapes. The past few weeks we've been working through our series of video tips on using shapes to create interesting accents for your digital projects. This week's tip combines shapes with your favorite fonts to create personalized page elements. Get started by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. Because I'm using a white background, I'm going to press the letter D on my keyboard to get the default foreground and background, which will give me a black foreground color. Get the rectangle tool which shares a spot here on the toolbar with the custom shape tool. And then make some choices in the options bar. Click the Create a New Shape layer, and then in the full version of Photoshop, you'll also need to click the Shape Layers icon. Click and drag out a rectangle on your page. To make the shape editable, you'll need to choose Layer, Rasterize, Layer. And if you're working in Photoshop Elements, you'll choose Layer, Simplify Layer. Next, get the Type tool, and choose a font you like in the Options bar. You can use any font that's installed on your system. Next, set a very large size. I'm going to use 300 point for the sample. And then pick a color that contrasts with your shape. Click on your document once and press a letter on your keyboard. Drag the letter into place. And then click the check mark to confirm the type. Next, control click or on a Mac system command click the thumbnail of the type in the layers panel. It will look like a T in a box. This makes a selection around your letter. Now click on the Shape layer in the Layers panel and press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. This cuts a letter shaped hole out of the Shape layer. Then press Ctrl D or on a Mac System Command D to remove the selection and then delete the text layer by dragging it down to the trash bin in the Layers panel. In Elements, apply a drop shadow layer style. In Photoshop, double click the shape layer in the Layers panel and create a drop shadow from the Layer Styles dialog box by clicking Drop Shadow. You can adjust the settings here and click OK. Get creative with this idea by using a shape other than a rectangle, like circles or flowers or hearts. Try using a dingbat font to cut out an image instead of a letter. You can even type a whole name or use a text byte to make a circle of letters to cut out. Use the shape as a clipping mask with photos or digital papers on your next project. This is a great way to use the digital kits that you purchase. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check back next week for the next Designer Digital's video tip. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.